Hey guys, this is Ryan123 here today, and today we are going to be doing creator stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you first of all how to have a message when you enter the game, how to teleport you to your own special room, and how to get you like these OP buttons and stuff that will <laughs> and stuff that will give you the edge and help out other players in your game. So as you can see, when I joined, I first of all got like $500,000 or gold or whatever. And then I have all these buttons in here that do different things. So for example, this one gives 100 gold to everybody, as you can see. This one kills everybody. And then I will respawn. And then these ones are to kill specific players. So as you can see, only one of them has a name right now because I am the only one playing. And so we will be taking a look at how to script all of these. And I want to turn this into somewhat of a series. So if you guys have any suggestions for more buttons and stuff we can add, um, just post them down below. I'd love to know. And just so you know, please no like chatted commands. We those will have their separate video, and I will show you guys those. I am working on those. They are trickier than normal, just because like they only seem to work on Tuesdays for some reason. Not really. That's an exaggeration, but they are giving me some grief. So those will come. This is mostly just more physical, like buttony stuff. No, like say. Um, kill everyone and then everyone dies or something like that but anyways um, I've been talking too long let's go ahead and get into the actual tutorial okay guys so here we are back for the scripts um, the first one we're going to look at is obviously the join game teleport to wherever script um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this I actually have two sets of like players that are whitelisted. I have VIPs, which is a specific whitelist, and I have the creators, which are creator, which is a specific whitelist. But anyways, I'll just be showing you guys how to do this. Again, this isn't shirts, this isn't game passes, this is whitelisted creators or VIPs, I guess, if you want to copy the VIP part. But we will mostly just be looking at the creator part. So up here, if you do, I guess I'll just go over this since it's here. If you do want to have a whitelisted VIP, you will need a array, a string array with all the names of the players you want in it. So as you can see, what's different here is this is not a parenthesis. It is the bracket that is on the same key as the square, half square bracket. So I th you have to hold shift to push it. Um, and basically, you'll want that. And put commas in between each of the VIP names, and each of them is in quotation marks. Then we're going to have a function called check VIP with a parameter called name. And then for, um, we're going to make a for loop, which just for every of the values in this array, we're going to check to see if the name is the same. I know that doesn't make sense, but basically what this is saying is if the name string in all caps is equal to the VIP name string in all caps, then it returns true. So this function, when it's called, will either return true or false. See, if it comes in here, and this is true and this is equal to each other then return true end otherwise if it isn't it will end this for loop and it will return false now this is the on entered function which of course is called this way so game dot players dot child added connect on entered and this is our on entered function and this is the player that enters <clears throat> so it's gonna wait five seconds you can probably lower that. I'm going to lower that for the sake of the video. Um, and then it's going to call that check 
VIP function that we called up here. And the reason it's set up like this is because this way it will return true or false. So basically saying if this comes back as true, then do this. Otherwise, it just... Oh, that's something else. Never mind. Um, this will just check if this comes back at true then it will do everything in here if it comes back at false it does nothing so like I said it will call this it will store the player name in here it will check the player that joined against your list and then if it is in the list it will return true which will check for their leader stats and it will give them some gold and then it will say a VIP has joined the game if you want you can say like instead of doing this you could say like player dot name dot dot comma a vip so then it will say like right one two three a vip has joined the game or something like that then it will remove the message now this is where my creator stuff comes in so this one is completely whitelisted so basically, if you just wanted the creator one, you would just have this, and then you would just have this, and then it wouldn't have all of this. But I'm going to keep that there so I don't forget to put it back and lose it all. But anyway, so this checks to make sure that, because this is my name, and then player one is just the test name so I usually like to throw player one in there just because of course nobody on Roblox is going to be called player one um, but then it will create a new message say that the creator has joined the game remove the message it gets the character and then it does the fire and sparkle effect you guys saw <laughs> just for fun you don't have to have like you don't have to have pretty much from you don't have to have this and then you don't have to have like any of this if you don't want I just did it for fun but this is what will teleport the player and change their team um, really if you wanted you could just change their team color and kill them or just teleport them on top of the spawn point and have it set to change their team but I just did this as a precautionary. You don't really need to, but whatever. Um, yeah. So, yep, then I remove the fire and the sparkles, and then it's over. So that's how you make a whitelisted teleport creator script, I guess, that changes their team. Um, when it came to this here VIP door... I'm not going to show you how to do that again. We already have done whitelisted VIP doors. The tutorial is called Roblox Scripting Tutorial Doors Doors. So go look that up if you'd like to know how to do a whitelisted VIP door. And then it will teleport, my script will teleport me on top of this spawn location. This teleport just takes me back up top. Now, we will now look at these easier buttons because these ones are both really easy. So let's go ahead and look at the money button first. If I can... There it is. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is just your simple click detector inside a button with the script. And basically, you just have your this thing here. And then you have your on click thing here. And then it gets the people in the game. I am going to put local so that blue line goes away. And then for each player, it will... Eh, you probably don't need this line and you can just do people with the I each time. I just did it so I didn't have to do people with the I each time. Um, it prints this. This was just for debugging. Um, then it will get their leader stats and if they're oh my goodness <laughs> then it will get their gold and then it will let's say no <laughs> I meant nil um, then it will give everybody a hundred and so on and so forth 
then it pops up that message you saw and this is after the loop so it doesn't pop up the message every single time so this one's pretty simple you can go ahead and pause it here if you want it let me zoom out so you can get the whole thing and then let's go ahead and hop into the kill everyone which is basically the same thing it's just another loop so you have your click detector down here you have the on clicked and then it gets the children then for each of the people it will get the person oh it gets their name and then <laughs> so what I did here is I actually had it set up that it will kill everyone but me so if you want to do this you get their name and then you check to see if it's your name and if it isn't so we have like is not equal to my name or player one just for testing um, then it will get their like player character and then it will oh I guess it puts sparkles in their head <laughs> and then it changes their head to black and then it will remove their head which will kill them and then it will oh yeah it's because I wanted it to be like magic so their head will sparkle then it will turn black then they'll die and then it will spawn the message everyone will die let me put another local here so that annoying blue line goes away and then they're dead <laughs> oh here let me zoom out so you guys can pause here if you want to copy that you can change anything you want of course and then we will look at probably the more trickier set of buttons which aren't really still that tricky which are just the kill buttons so we're just gonna look at one of them Whoa. okay now there are two scripts and a string in here so this is a click detector this is a string um, string value see and then we're going to look at the script that is called script first and what this does is you want to change this player number so whichever button you are in this will be different see this is button 2 so this is player number 2 this is player number 2 and etc so what this does is every second it will get the children from players so it will like get a string array and put in in people then it will get the p specific person corresponding to the number so for example this is like having a one in here instead so this will get the first person listed in the players service um, and it will say if the player isn't equal to nil it changes the name of the brick and it changes the player name value so that it will store the player's name and it will do this every second and if the player leaves then it will revert back to normal now the click script is real simple this is just where we kill them so down here you have this on click thing up here you have the thing that gets the player the variable that holds the player name on clicked this is just for debugging but you want to check if the player name is not equal to nothing if the player so this just if it's blank like if it the button says kill dot 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 it won't do anything but if it isn't if the if this value has a value then it will do what's in here it will find the player and it will kill the player you can like throw in a message or whatever like the creator has killed whoever or whatever <laughs> you are being punished for your crimes I don't know so just if you want some policing like if somebody's trolling or something so but yeah that's it for this video I know that was a lot in one video and I hope you guys can find what you're looking for and yeah I'd love more suggestions for this if you guys want to keep we can keep adding to our watchtower down here 
and we can keep doing stuff again. I will get to like chatted commands, so don't suggest those. Those will be their own video entirely. Um, this is just for like buttons and other ideas you guys can come up with that are a little more physical than chatted commands. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm, that's it for this video. Thanks for all the feedback on the last video. I really appreciate that. But please be sure to subscribe for future content. Post a comment down below with any suggestions for future for tutorials, whether they have to do with RPGs or this stuff or just random tutorials in general and be, please be sure to hit that like button um, it really helps and I hope you guys have a very nice day and goodbye <laughs>